Today's epistle reading is from 2 Corinthians 13, verses 11 through 13. Finally, brothers and sisters, goodbye. Put things in order. Respond to my encouragement. Be in harmony with each other and live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Say hello to each other with a holy kiss. All of God's people say hello to you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.
This morning's Old Testament reading is from the book of Genesis, chapters, yeah, chapter 1, verses 1 through chapter 2, verse 4. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from water. So God made the vault and separated the water under the vault from the water above it. And it was so. God called this vault sky. And there was evening and there was morning, the second day. And God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land, and the gathered waters he called seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it, according to their various kinds. And it was so, the land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it, according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the third day. And God said, let there be light in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night. And let them serve as signs to mark sacred times and days and years. And let them be lights in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set them in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate light from darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, Let the water teem with living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the vault of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living thing with which the water teems and that moves about in it according to their kinds. And every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the water in the seas, and let the birds increase on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, the livestock, the creatures that move along the ground, and the wild animals, each according to its kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to their kinds and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and sub subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for your food, and to all the beasts of the earth, and all the birds in the sky, and all the creatures that move along the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food, and it was so. God saw that all he had made, and it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were completed, 
in all their vast array. By the seventh day, God had finished his work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all of his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. Because on it, he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. May God bless the reading of this holy scripture. At this time is our tithes and offering. This time during our service, we would regularly take up an offering for the Lord. You're encouraged to tithe online at our website or mail your offering to the church office. And remember that your gifts help to keep this church's operating expenses current. We greatly appreciate your faithfulness and commitment during this time. Let us go to God in prayer, and then we will conclude with the Lord's Prayer all together. Our Father and our God, we humble ourselves before you now, bowing in awe and reverence to your uh, greatness. We come to you in prayer as brothers and sisters to each other. And we pray, all of us, as children of yours, Lord God. We give thanks today for this beautiful day that you have given us to um, 
come together and worship and and um, spend some time outside as, as we see fit. Father God, we pray for continued healing for Jack Feenstra as he recovers from surgery. And Lord, we also pray for healing and, and encouragement for Sharon Horst as she re-enters the uh, surgery room. And uh, we pray for uh, guidance for the doctors and for all involved. Um, Lord God, we pray that your healing hands would touch her and bring her back to health. We also have a praise, Lord, for the preschool graduation, for um, Carol and all the teachers involved to think outside of the box and give us a uh, drive-through graduation. And Lord, we, we ask for your blessing upon these children as they grow and move into yet another year. We ask that you bless their lives and their homes uh, as they uh, prepare to come back. and. As far as coming back, Lord, we ask for your wisdom and your guidance. And as far as coming back for both the preschool and the church itself, along with the many businesses that are hurting and, and need to find a way to bring in revenues and also need to find a way to do it safely and in a loving way to their neighbors. Lord, we pray for healing over our nation starting with the uh, coronavirus with, that is tormenting our world right now. Dear God, we pray for wisdom and knowledge for all those whose job it is to find cures and vaccines. And we pray for the leadership that has to guide us through this time. We pray for congregations, ours, and others like ours as they struggle through this. And Father, we also pray for healing over our nation. We pray for social justice that needs to be recognized we also pray for the violence to stop. We pray that everyone would find a peaceful way to bring us all onto the same page. Lord, let us seek your face, and in so doing, let the troubles of this world grow less. We believe that holding you high and magnifying your word and your great name solve many of our problems. So Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer as we all pray together the way that you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. 